Welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hello, friends of the podcast. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Samantha, how you Lisa. doing? Lisa, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good, good, good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Right, just good, good, good. Everything is good. Sure Freaking is. wonderful. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome, man. <laughs> That's how I find this day to be. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome, Samantha. Yeah. yeah. Right? So you know, you know, I had that lotion issue last week, eh? I know, right? You were all worried about the lotion that didn't lotion. Well, the lotions that don't lotion. Well, apparently, there are lotions that lotion. Okay, so but here's my thing, right? I think it's funny. <laughs> and you need to change your ways because all these nice people are giving you ideas on lotions that that, that yes. will lotion. And yeah. you and you have not yet gone to shoppers and bought one, have you? No, no right? So get off your ass and get lotion that doesn't lotion now that you've had now that you have some some advice yes, from people. I I will. I will tomorrow. Right? I want to see, we want to see a picture. For sure. Right? Of, of, of your new lotion that lotions. The lotion that lotions. Right? And then maybe, <laughs> right? Maybe that'll be another week's conversation where you'll be like, so this lotion lotioned better than this lotion. Oh, dear God. Right? I can't tell the difference. I no just, one needs that in their life. Listen, I took that conversation <laughs> seriously to heart. And every morning when I used my lotion, I thought, uh-huh. you know what? My lotion lotions. Yes, thank you for sharing. My, my face feels good. My arms feel good. My legs yes. feel good. The fact that you use face and body together yeah. and there isn't a separate one for your face still concerns me greatly. Well, you know what? When when my face isn't part of my body, I'll, I will uh, definitely take that under advisement. But All while right. it's attached to my body, I'm like going to Like everyone assume... else has like a serum a and serum. an eye cream and a primer no. and a, you know... Samantha, right? All those things. Come on, you give me a break, right? All can I you, want is all I want are some goddamn bangs. Can you? It's all I want are yeah. bangs. Yeah, you got no sympathy for me, did you? My hairdresser told me she made me bangs. <laughs> you don't have bangs right Where now. It? I'm looking at your head. You do not have bangs. A little bit of a bang. You have no bangs. Oh. You have none. Zip she's Zola. Like, she's like brush them down. So I try and brush them down, but then they just go back up. I don't think you're the girl who wants things on her forehead. I want bangs. I think you're totally fine having that very big vacant space. I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm not. Because you know what? Sometimes it feels too vacant. Thank you. You know what? Oh okay. my God, that's so funny. <laughs> As she laughs to herself, just ask her. Oh my God. Here's the thing, Samantha, okay? Right? I don't oh. mind... I don't mind my forehead and I don't think it's that bad when I see it in the mirror, but when I see it in a picture, I'm a little (laughs) traumatized by the size of it. You mean all those great selfies you keep taking of yourself? Click. Right? From the right angle, like I'm trying to do up, lift head up. Right? The, the, the look up with like a (laughs) little laugh, right? The watch your double chin. Still always, right? Only way that, I don't know, only way that my forehead doesn't seem big is when I'm looking down. And as we've just discussed, right, with my progressives, That's I'm a bad always idea. looking up. You're constantly looking up. Always. Right now you're doing it. It's a habit. It's a habit. And again, like I said before, right, my husband's six foot six, I speak looking up. I think that's part of it too. But it's just, it's a habit. I don't know why. Oh my God. It doesn't matter. Right? Even the phone right now is at a better level than usual because now it's on the WrestleMania anthology box set, which seems to be like, like I see all of me in my picture. Yes. Right? But I'm still looking up. And you're not centered for some reason for me, but that's okay. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. (laughs) I wanted you to see the queen stuff over here. Yes. Looking at Prince Philip, right? My dude, he's he in the hospital. I know. I heard he has the COVID. No, they have not said. they. What they've said is <laughs> there's been no talk of the COVID in anything I've read. What they've said is they've said uh, that he is not feeling well. Uh-huh. And he's gone for precautionary measures. He's a hundred. Okay. So it's incredibly vague. <laughs> 
It's incredibly vague. But he's also 99.9 years old. <laughs> this is true. So, I mean, right? Like, what's not feeling well at 99? Uh, like, getting up in the morning is not feeling well. Yes. Right? I don't need him to die right now. I don't need that in my life. No. Right? I don't need that shit right Nobody now. Nobody needs a royal to die. So that's... Just no, throw it out there. We don't need that, right? I don't even have vacation time yet at my new job. I can't, I can't have that trauma happen, right? Can't have that trauma. Oh my god! Right? I, I don't have, have vacation time. Right? I don't even have vacation time yet. Jesus, what would I? Ah, oh, I just, oh. I think I'm getting a shingle just thinking about it. Oh, god. right. Okay, Samantha. Oh. Okay, I know how you're all like, like all like. Like all like manicure and fingernail. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a, I, I, I like to like have nice nails. I and, have nice nails. They just, they're not. And I, and I like do my hair and I have a bang. Yeah, okay. Just listen. I put some gloss on. Really? I put well, some makeup what? on. I wash my hair every day. Do you? I care what my toes look like. No. How are your toes today? <laughs> you shut they're your. Actually, they're the, actually on fleek. They're winter toes. <laughs> Right, you got your talons on today. <laughs> caw, caw, right? But my fingernails are good. Good, because the world sees those, right? So mm-hmm. I've always said that you have nice fingernails, right? I don't have long fingernails, but I don't have not off man nails either. My <laughs> nails are just fine. They've been high. They've been uh, low maintenance nails, right? They've been low maintenance for as long as I've known you. They have been, right? <laughs> However, I had one that broke. And have you ever had a fingernail that when it breaks, it grows back high maintenance? No. It's a high maintenance nail now. In what way, Lisa? Samantha, it is wanting, I haven't done it, it is wanting that file to come out. And I don't even have that file. Oh, God forbid that you should file your fingernails. I just clip them and that always is enough. (laughs) Because I'm a really good clipper. I can clip it oh perfectly. Oh, my God. I clip. You're, like, so low maintenance. I, You're, like, on the ground, potentially underneath. Right. Like, there's some, like, yeah. deep yeah. action happening. Right? And I'm a good clipper, right? So I pay attention yeah. to make sure they're all clipped evenly. Yes. And they look nice. Because, God forbid, you should, like, you know, file a nail. I'm not filing. But one is begging to be filed. I can tell. It's grown well, back. It's grown back funny. And I'm like, mm-mm. Listen here, nail. You're not then getting clip that. clip it. I don't want to clip it. I, I clip it. I don't want to file it. Once you start filing it, this is my theory. Once I file that nail, then it's going to want a manicure. Then it's going to want polish. And then it's going to want a gel nail on it. And I'm not doing all of that for one nail. And then nail. Michelle, Michelle has won the war. And Michelle, <laughs> AJG has won the battle, right? I'm not wearing a scarf. And I'm not getting a gel nail. Right? I'm not doing those things. Oh, my God. At some point, I have to still be Lisa. Really? Yeah. Okay. Right? All right, Lisa. Grow that ugly fingernail. It's not ugly. Then. It's just grow- Make it a claw. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Really? You have that one nope. claw sticking out, going after people. If it was the 70s, it would be my cocaine nail. <laughs> right? You know how those ladies had those, yeah, right? Yeah. Little. Right? It's just so you can scoop up the, scoop up the coke. <laughs> That's what it would be. I'm just saying, oh, right? I don't think God. I want it. I think it's a slippery slope. I think I'm letting it in. If I open that door, it is such a slippery slope. God, right? And then, like, just watch it. Watch right? yourself. Watch, catch it. Right? Just catch it before it starts. It's already too bad that I went to put on a pair of work pants today and the hem is starting to come down. I'm like, oh, and now you want to be sewn. I don't know how to just sew like that. Mayhem. Total mayhem. I don't know how to just sew a hem. Oh, I think you need to sew a hem. So mad. I'm going to get them fixed somewhere. Do people still do that? I think so. Money talks, right? Money talks. Money always right? talks. Just money, 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 money. <laughs> right? I'm looking for a hem. How much? Name your price. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. Well, I think it's... <laughs> speaking of money, uh, uh, Rob Lowe, he got some money because he all over the TV now. He all over the TV. And <laughs> last night, oh my goodness. So my friend, she, <laughs> she goes by, she's a bit of a comedian. Her her real name in real life is Shannon. She goes by Roxy R. Roller. Remember like yes. Roxy Roller? Roller. She goes by, Roxy Roller. She goes by that <laughs> and on, on the Facebook and just out of the uh. blue... She needed to ask if we were Team Rob Lowe. Hi. Well, if we were still. Still. If Rob Lowe was still a thing, and I'm like, of 
course he's still a Hi, thing. Hi, and of course we're what? still Team Rob Lowe. We're never not of- Team Rob Lowe. Hi, who tapes 911 Low Star? Just, Talk to this girl. Right? I don't tape it, but I watch. I but I I I'm I'm all over. Right? He's we, looking good. What He's woman is quaff. what woman is not Team Rob Lowe? And oh my god! And who's going to admit mind. it? Okay, but who was talking about Rob Lowe? Who? Kelly Ripa. Oh my god! I think she's. This I think morning. she is my Siri. I think she's my Google. <laughs> she's in my phone. She's everywhere. She needs. I feel like I'm being harassed. I think you. Are. I think she's stalking me. She was telling a story about today? how Rob Lowe... Because I haven't yeah, watched on, it yet today. On, oh, I'm going to ruin it for you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> That's my life. I ruin things for me. <laughs> Samantha's okay. been going on for 20 years. <laughs> years, yeah. Okay, so I watched as I was getting ready for work. Right. And she's telling this really funny story about how Rob Lowe should not be seen in the wild. And, and for her, like she's prepared to meet Rob Lowe as you know, host right. to, to like guest, right. but she was running the treadmill <laughs> at this hotel. Cause they were on some kind of like different set or something for the show. Yeah. And here Rob Lowe comes up to her as she's running on the treadmill. Oh, that's not where you want to meet Rob Lowe. No, and she looks at him and she's like, Rob Lowe, this who, why, what? <laughs> and then she gracefully falls off the treadmill because <laughs> he caught her off guard wow because you're not supposed to see rob low in the wild <laughs> so here's my thing dear kelly ripa mm. right just come on just give us a shout out we know you're all over our podcast what are the you, chances that hi because that on our facebook page yesterday late last <laughs> night rob low's getting bantered around and then oh voila it's on live this morning yeah, I think, like I said, she said she she was talking about Chinese New Year last week. I said to the HHG, I think she's a Patreon. I said that to you too, because <laughs> right? it was on it was on. She was talking about it on Friday morning, and I'm like, she's obviously she's a Patreon subscriber because she Patreon. got the podcast before everybody else did before it's even been released. <sighs> yep, yeah, that's for right? sure. Right, that's the beauty of being a Patreon. Oh my god, right? But yes, uh. Roxy, our roller, Roxy, our AKA roller, Shannon, my dear Shannon Cox, uh, Rob Lowe, all the time, never doubt forever, it. ever heart him, ever doubt it. And then I posed the question to her: Rob Lowe versus an adult John Stamos, and like, oh, no, Rob Lowe, I never, I don't understand you. the only John you. Stamos. I As don't an adult, understand it. No, only you. No, only you. I didn't like him then. Um, I don't like him now. I didn't now. like him They're then. Just, oh, well, like, it's just something about his... He's just a little bit too off in weirdness land for Is it me. that or do you fear that he might have a hairy back? <laughs> because he's Greek. Do you think it could be that? Because you know Rob Lowe. He's got no body hair. Right? <laughs> nope. Nope. John and Stamos you know has the potential to have body <laughs> to hair. To have body hair. But even if he did, Lisa, he is getting that... That thing waxed. He's getting it. He's getting things waxed. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's like there's not a stitch of hair anywhere. There's no way. There's just no yeah. way. So that, He's smooth. So that was a fun conversation, <laughs> hey? Anytime somebody wants to just talk about Rob Lowe, bring it. That's bring probably it. why I didn't sleep last bring night. It. I was probably flustered. Yes, you were like, oh, oh Rob Lowe, oh, where, where's my fan? Where's my fan? <laughs> okay, so here's something in- interesting. You know how I still have my frozen shoulder? Yes. Okay, well, it's a lot better, right? But it's still frozen. It's just yes. now there's no pain. Uh-huh. Ugh, everything in my life is so high maintenance. So now, right, I have to do one arm. My left arm gets normal deodorant. My right arm has to get the spray. Because I can't lift it high enough to get the deodorant. Why don't you just use the spray one on both? Because I don't like the spray enough to use it on both. Oh, good God. I don't like the spray enough. <laughs> It's very powdery. So you have two different deodorants. Yeah, isn't that high maintenance? Based on how you, the angle my, my in functional, which... My functionability. <laughs> That's what it's based on. My functionability, Samantha. So my oh left my arm, God. I can reach high for the sky. My right arm, 
No, not so much. Not it's like so a, it's, much. it's like a wing, right? It's just like a wounded wing, <laughs> right? You know. So. Right? Oh my God, that so is that's, so. Isn't that so crazy? That's a little weird, Lisa. <laughs> Even for you. I know, right? <laughs> But I can't get, I can't, I don't feel confident that I'm getting enough of the, of the normal deodorant under that bad arm. And I'm like, Mm-mm, I don't feel it. Right. Well, so, you don't want to smell Lisa. That's not the goal. That is nobody's goal in life. That is it's not to go nobody's smelling. goal. Um, okay. Valentine's day. Did you do anything exciting? I, well, I was at home by uh-huh. myself because yes. John and I are 2,100 gajillion miles away from each other. One year later. <laughs> One year later. One year later. And I did actually uh, order in uh, some food from my favorite little Chinese restaurant. That's what Wat. we had too was Chinese food. Yeah, it was really yummy. Yeah. Vietnamese, yum, yum, yum. Yeah. I don't know the difference, right? I just know, you know what I, I like know, to order, I right? know. I don't know the difference. But it was delightful. So, well, I, so I did celebrate Chinese New Lunar New Year. So. Good, good. So what did your food look like? What did you order? I had the Vietnamese noodle bowl. Okay. So it was like chicken and spring yeah. rolls and I had spring rolls. Yeah. It was delightful. That's your. That was your. That was your big. Ta-da. Yeah, it was a lot for one person. Like, what huh. am I supposed to eat? A hundred different things. Or? So, did you know? You know, at the grocery store, when you're at the grocery store and you see, remember how they used to make those boxes of chicken balls, like the Chinese looks like yes. the Chinese takeout chicken balls. Yes. So Mike bought a box of those one time not too long ago. Oh my God, they are the best. They, that sauce tastes just like the 1970s chicken ball sauce. I ate that sauce and I'm like, I am in Stainer, Ontario on the main street having Jong's Chinese food. I'm like, oh my God. Like, you know, when it's over vinegary. Yes. That's what it is. It was so good. So good. So good. It was so, so, so good. (laughs) Right. So oh good. my God. So okay, good. but you know what I think is even better for you? Tell me. You finally, you finally did it right. It finally it was, came. It finally came. Finally you came. actually had Pancake Tuesday. I had Pancake yesterday. Tuesday. It finally came, <laughs> Samantha. Right, and that's the beauty because that's my favorite supper day of the year. Yes, it's it Pancake is. Tuesday. And Mike's all like, "We can have pancakes any day." No, you're missing the whole point. <laughs> It was just pancakes for one. He like he's like I'm good, thanks. I'll have a I'll make myself a supper. I'm like okay, you're missing your loss, buddy. But you finally got the day right. That's exciting. I know, right? And Andrea posted it on Facebook, so that helped me remember too. I knew I knew that it was coming because I think I had given yes. myself a mem uh, a reminder in my calendar. It goes along with Lent. And Shrove, Shrove Tuesday. Shrove Tuesday and All something when, yeah, it's it a whole thing. means Easter's coming soon. Yes. That's what it yes. means, right? I mean, Easter's not till the beginning of April, but yes. Yeah, but that's the start of, here comes Easter. Yes. Right? <laughs> and now you got to give up, now you got to give shit up. I always wonder why you have to give up stuff. Uh, it must be a Bible story or something. Is it? Is it? Does it build character? It must build character. In some I don't know. Way. Is that like? Was that like in the Bible? Like thou must like I get don't covet thy neighbor's husband, but and <laughs> like gives shit up six weeks before Easter. Six weeks. I know. Is I'm it like, because wow. the Lord was going to give up His life for our sins, but they wouldn't have known that then? Well, you know, I, if then, I wasn't hmm. two decades out of school, I would tell you. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. I, oh, if I wasn't like a lifetime away from ever going to a church, I would tell you too. I don't have that story. A lifetime story. away. I okay. Have, I don't have that story. I don't have that memory to it's share. It's a very important hand. time in certain religions because mm-hmm. that's, you know, yeah. so that's what they do. Yeah. And I'm not knocking it by any means, right? Because I think religion's cool. It's just not always my gig. It's not your gig. It's not my gig, but I think it's cool. <laughs> Right? I think shit like that is cool. Okay. Something more interesting has happened in our world. Okay. How this guy gets away with stuff is beyond me. I know. The big T, as I'm going to call him now, the big T, has been acquitted for the second time. And you know what? I swear to God, this guy has made a Teflon. <laughs> and now they've just, now they've just, one of his, one of his buildings just yeah. got demolished. Anything to keep him in the news. Thank you. Why are they demolishing buildings? Well, because he had an old Trump building that was no good anymore. Oh. Yeah. But dear America, thank you. Keep the news. Keep them in the news. Keep them in the news. <laughs> well, it just keeps you happy. I know, right? Joe Biden who? 
I like Joe Biden, but I don't need him for my news. I don't need him. No, he's not very excited. I don't see his morning tweets and things like that. No, I know it is kind of amazing. Hey, that but apparently they knew he was going to be acquitted. Oh, dear. Yeah, apparently, I think that I think. Then they, why did why did America, America explain this? Why did you guys just spend a quadrillion dollars going through it again? That would be the question, <laughs> right? Because it seemed in anything that I heard <sighs> and read, it seemed like nobody was surprised. No. That he was acquitted. Oh, just leave yeah. it alone. And I'm like, just hmm, leave it. Alone. I don't know. You know what? Now, this is what they need to do. Move along. Move along. Move along. Move along, America. You need to do the future shuffle. Four years along. of boringness. That's what we need now. <laughs> there you go. That's all we want some boring news or, or, or a serial killer. Oh, dear God. I'm just no. Saying, right? I'm just Nobody saying. needs that, Lisa. Passes That will bring the news back. Okay. All right. But apparently, Megan and Harry announcing their beloved child on Valentine's Day was only good for like a moment I know. Way, to, way to try and steal valentine's day i know right? what are you doing i think they did it because princess diana that's when she announced that she was pregnant with harry oh right so makes I think, sense well uh, no not really right you chose well, to not you chose to not be a royal anymore so you don't get to have that memory with your mom I, but he still called a prince. They still call him Prince Harry. I know, but they shouldn't. They should just. They call still him... call them Duke and Duchess of Windsor. I know, and they shouldn't. They should just call him Hank. <laughs> they should just go by Hank. <laughs> Hank and Hank. Hank and Meg. Hank and Meg. That's all. Hey, Hank and Meg. Right, right? that's all. You, you having a baby? You're having a baby. Big deal. Everybody has them, <laughs> except Lisa and Sam. Everybody else has babies. It's not. It's no. Woo, woo, woo. You had a baby. And again. And then again, my question is posed, what do you get for a couple that has money and status and can buy pretty much or get for free anything that they want? Because people are going to shove stuff in their face. You don't get them anything because they've been excommunicated. <laughs> so they get nothing. Ooh, that's, I feel a chill coming. Yeah, yeah. And guess what? <laughs> that chill, that chill, Samantha, it's, it, it's being shared. It's not just with those two. That chill I'm passing on to my ex friend, Oprah. Oh, why? Because you know what, Oprah Winfrey, you didn't need to land the big scoop. I get that they're your friends. And now Oprah's got the big interview and Harry's gonna, or sorry, Hank is gonna tell all. Hank. Right? <laughs> Come on, right? Like, can we just not have some respect? Like, here's my issue, right? Your grandmother, Harry, is 725 years old. Yes. Her husband, 975. Yes. And in in failing health. (laughs) And you now need to ruffle the royal feathers Uh by having a tell-all... Oprah Winfrey doing an interview. Yes. And you know yes, what, Oprah? Do. I expect better because I think you could wait too. That story is oh. not going anywhere. That story doesn't have to be told today. No. Right? It's not a pressing story. Oh, I, I'm now seeing it in a whole new light, Lisa. Right? You're welcome. <laughs> right? Maybe I need to go on 60 minutes. Tick, 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 tick. And explain why uh, this interview this is, should This wait. is why you should not be doing this. Right? You know that rule, right? Some things we just don't say in front of in front of our elders. How yes. about some interviews we just don't do till grandma's dead? Right? <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. Uh, so who do you think is instigating that then? Them. No, yeah, both you know what? Of, I'm both gonna, of them together? I think, yeah, I think Oprah's poking that bear a little bit too. No, but I'm thinking like between Harry and Meghan, like, why would they even want to like, like, what are they going to say that we don't already know? I don't know. I don't know. Why do we need to hear it again? Right. Right. You were born into royalty and that apparently wasn't good enough for you. You were marrying into royalty. You knew what the stakes were. It's like when Mike Gibson was marrying Lisa Gibbs, Lisa McIntyre at the time. My mom sat him down and said, a couple things you need to know about my daughter, right? She doesn't value a dollar and she's really high maintenance. So if Wendy McIntyre can sit down and tell all of the men marrying her girls that, yes. don't tell me that Meghan Markle wasn't told what life is going to be like. 
True. Right? Yes. And come on, at the end of the day, right? Is it really that bad to be a royal? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I can't imagine. (laughs) There's a lot of, there's a lot worse things I can think of that I'd rather not be than a royal. Well, I can think of, I can think of one, the cold snap that we have endured for two weeks. But now it's it's only now coming to an end. Now it's coming to an end. But it is now officially in the States. We've given it away. We have. Here you go. We have. Have some. Have some. Go have some. We like to share. Canadians, we like to share. Yes, we do. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. And they're getting slammed. And John got like snow for the first time in like a quadrillion years. And he couldn't handle minus five. Oh, come on, you big baby. And a smidge, a skiff. Right. A skiff, we would like to call it here in Saskatchewan. A skiff of snow. Right. Big baby, big baby, big baby alert. Big Big baby baby alert. Big baby alert. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Right. I'm like. It's not that cold. But you know what? And then it and then it rained and all the snow went away. That's funny. But you know what else is funny with that? So Matt, our friend Maddie from the Nooks and Crandy podcast. Yeah. He lives out in BC and he had posted, Oh, I don't he must deliver papers or something in his spare time and he had posted, Oh, I don't want to deliver papers and then he posted it was gonna be minus seven. And then I posted it minus forty five with the wind chill here, Maddie. Come on. Right? <laughs> Oh, my God. To be minus seven and it would be spring. Yeah, we'd be on a patio having a beer if there wasn't COVID. Right? Right? Because that's like spring. Right? That's like so crazy. So crazy. And then the poor people in Texas, I've been seeing that all over the news. Yeah. They are not prepared for what They got no power in Texas. There's no power. Haven't been for days. Snow. Things are iced over. They're frozen. And they're freezing. And I'm like, what is going on? I don't remember what part of the states Cameron Parker lives in, but he had posted that they didn't have power for four days. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, what is up, people? So crazy. And then, you know what it makes me think? This is what it makes me think. Why? Okay, when I'm thinking of cold, I think of, like, all the winter attire that goes along with it, right? Yes. Why are they called ski pants or snow pants? Why can't they just be called, like, extra pants that keep you warm? Because, <laughs> like, unless you're going skiing or, or snowing, what is snowing even? I don't know. Right. So, well, ski pants is because you're going skiing, so they're designed to go with your skis, but they really are snow pants. So I don't know. Yeah. Who designed, who's, who decided that should be? Who decided that that's what we needed, right? Are these ski pants that go over top of your pants pants? And why snow pants? Because, like, what if there's no snow, but it's still really cold? Yeah. Right? Are they just pants? Are you wearing them? Are they just pants? Are they just pants? Right? Cause, and then, you know what? They, they're, just, <laughs> they're just designed to make you look bigger. Maybe they should be called insulated pants. It's not a good look. No, it's not a good not look. Not a good look at all, right? You look you look like the marshmallow man yeah, or the pup. Right? Like the, the Michelin man or Bonhomme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's it's, not good. Good. it's not a good look. It's not a good, it's not look. a good look. Snow pants are not mm-hmm. a good look. But I did, uh, Jersey just reminded me that there was a massive uh, hundred car pileup. Yeah, I there's think? all there's lots of accidents. And you know what? Some people in, have died in and that's horrible. And that sucks. But it was such black icy, just kept sliding into each other. Yeah, that's crazy. It was bad to watch. Yeah, it's not good. I was like, what is up with that? Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. No. We don't want anybody to be hurt. No, we don't. Right? And we, we need you guys to wear your snow pants. Put your snow pants on. Put your snow pants on. Put your snow pants on. Tech, dear Texas, or get your snow pants on. Your, put your insulated pants on, whatever that might look like. Why are they called long johns? I don't know. <laughs> It's another one. I don't even understand long johns. Long johns, because it's a long and it's for a john. I don't know. I don't know. It makes no sense. It makes no it sense makes to no me. Sense. No. <laughs> okay, so this is the favorite part of Lisa of the episode for Lisa. Guess who's got questions? Lisa's got questions. It's Lisa's question corner. Samantha, I got questions. Okay. I got questions. Okay, you ready? Uh-huh. Why did people start preserving things? Just make it and be done. <laughs> okay. So the whole point of preserving Lisa is what? 
<laughs> is so that it lasts longer. But why do we need that? So they can eat it later. But just think of that. That's like a nasty concept. I'm going to eat preserving this later. Well, that's only if you think in in like the idea of people. Are we preserving people? Are we preserving body parts? Yeah, mummifying like, people. Anything. Well, we that's a whole anything. different. You know, people are dead when you mummify them. I know, but even our food, right? The fact that we're preserving our food to eat it later. Yes, because that's normal. Because you can't consume all the food at one time. I don't know. I don't get that. That's but, why people can food. I know, but then, okay, and then that brings me to why did people <laughs> decide to store food in cans? <laughs> because it makes sense because tin... Like, like, can't get into tin. Tin was a good idea at the time. But maybe the aluminum cans. Of, the taste of tin and your food. Well, I'm not saying it's perfect. Right? Like, when you eat that first mouthful of alphagetti, you taste tin. I don't eat alphagetti. That's you because you're five. I know, but you <laughs> eat Chef Boyardee. You, you eat, you eat beefaroni yeah. or one of those crappy ones. I haven't for a very long time. I'm just Lisa. saying, you know. I'm growing I'm... out of my teenage years. Are you growing out of your Thank teenage you. years? I'm growing into them. <laughs> growing into them. So that's my question: Is who decided to start storing shit in cans? Why cans? Why did we pick well, a can? It, uh, like, like all good things, somebody stumbled onto it. I guess. Right. I guess. And said, "Hey, look at this. We can keep things longer if we put it in a tin can and preserve it." Maybe. Maybe. Oh my God! Look at those two intertwining. Weird. Hello. Weird. Hello? Okay. Okay, smarty pants. <laughs> then when did people decide that it, that they that they didn't want to stink anymore? <laughs> Who Probably decided when... that was a bad thing all of a sudden? <laughs> Good question. Uh-huh. Good question. Um, let me let me let me think. Well, have you ever stood beside someone who smells like an onion and they've not been cooking? Uh, I don't think I get that close to those people. No. No. I have. Ew. <laughs> and there's a reason why we need things and things to clean ourselves. That's nasty. <laughs> That's nasty. Those are my questions, Samantha. Those are my questions. And who knows who decided, maybe somebody who wanted to make a buck with a bar of soap, Lisa. That's where it all started. Maybe. A bar who of soap. Knows, right? Right? Yeah. Here's a bar of soap. Just use it. <laughs> And then again, right? Why soap? And then I have my own question, oh, Lisa. Oh, look at you trying to steal my question, Thunder. <laughs> Lisa, I got a question. Okay, what's your question, Samantha? What happens when you stop showering? Oh, don't. Oh, I don't think I want to know. Obviously, we're very aware of like body odor. Yeah. Like, what's? Are, is it, do you need to tell me something? Does this stem from the fact that you have to use two different deodorants? No, and you're I, not quite sure if you don't smell. No, I think I know I don't smell. If anything, think, I'm. I'm. Are over, you sure? Because you're over. smelling yourself. No. So, do you realize that you no, maybe no. smell like Listen, an onion? No, no, no. I don't smell myself <laughs> at all, Samantha. That's the thing, right? I'm overcompensating. Right, because I can't lift my arms, so I'm over. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, apparently, apparently, this is what I learned. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that we think detergents and products like that, you add them to your skin and your hair. We think it helps, but it actually disrupts the oil and bacteria that live naturally. On our skin. I don't want them to live naturally on my skin. Right? So some I read, this is why I asked, what I happens want, when you stop showering? I want fresh skin. Because this person stopped showering for a whole month. Oh. And all they did I think I may was, have just thrown up a little bit. <laughs> all they did was like, um, they didn't take a shower. Ew. I think they might have, I don't know, if did they wash their hair? Got, did they get no, the bugs if, out of their like, hair? If they did, if they got dirty, they would like put water on themselves, yeah. but they didn't actually wash anything. Because that's just giving your body a drink. But apparently they didn't smell. Oh, yes, they did. Yes. They just smelled like a human, apparently. Oh, yeah. A gross, nasty one. <laughs> and then, and then the thought just occurred to me, hey, goop, let's make a candle about how you smell like a human. Oh, <laughs> dirty there. old, dirty You're old. welcome. Right? Right? If it's not the vagina, it's, uh, if it's not Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina, it's dirty old human. Exactly. Smells like a human. Uh-uh. It doesn't smell like this human, I'll tell you that right now. So nasty. Oh, my God. Well, to me, it would smell like an onion if somebody hasn't shaved Ew. or showered or done Gross. any of those fun things. So nasty. 
Okay. But then, okay. So on the weekend, uh-huh. on Saturday, my mother and I, the head baker of the Boom Baby Bakery. You paid me a visit. We paid Lisa a visit. Yeah. And didn't know that we would be taking our lives into our own hands. You think I lie about this shit? <laughs> For two years, I've been talking about the pigeons. Oh, my God. Okay, so when we got out of the car, you and did, I'm like, and it was... You did tell was, your mom that, that that's those weren't my pigeons. No, I. she knows that. Okay. Oh, calm down. Okay. She knows that. Okay. okay, so we're walking towards the back of the building where you were going to meet us. And I looked up and I went, oh, my God. Don't look And up. all I thought was... Don't make a move. <laughs> right? Don't make the move. And then out of mom's mouth, holy shit. <laughs> Don't make the move. Don't talk too loud. Don't do nothing. Just be very so quiet. So we're doing our thing and everything. And then you go inside and mom and I start walking away. And all of a sudden, birds start flying. And I'm like covering my head. Mom's like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's an infestation of pigeons. And mom's like, oh, my God, it's the movie, The Birds. It is. It's disgusting. Right? You can't blame Mike was, for wanting to kill them. No. And then all I thought was, oh, my God, please do not, like, jump on me. No, that would right, be disgusting. Exactly, right? Oh. Right, but it was scary. They're horrible. There's that whole top row. I know. On that, and I'm like, the sound alone would drive me and insane. And somebody lives there and is I okay don't with that. I'd, it was like. Yeah, ugh. And then that's disgusting. That's the grossest noise in the world is is the purring of fat, fat pigeons. Okay, but beyond the pigeons, yeah. how was the bacon? It was good, and it's gone. <laughs> good and gone. Good and gone. Good and gone. It was delicious baking. <laughs> and yes, both those selections can, can, can uh, join the menu at the Boom Baby Bakery and Cafe. Excellent. Yes, they were wonderful, as always. <laughs> and I think your mom looks great with her hair the way that it, with the color that it is. Yeah, because I, th- I haven't seen her in a little bit, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. COVID yeah. and all. COVID. I think COVID the last time all. I saw your mom, I think was when she was picking us up after our summer holiday. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh shoot, that is right. I think that's the last time. Yeah. You know, she's looking like a million bucks, to me. Looking like a million. Dollars. Looking good. She's looking good. <laughs> um, do you ever wonder what the world did before support animals? I guess that's a question, too. I think all I do are ask questions. I think it's uh, we had support um, beverages. Okay. Uh, support a um, support narcotics. Oh, okay. I think <laughs> Which I think it. we still do. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that we had maybe support people. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe. 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 Because support animals are really the best thing in the whole wide world. Yes, but can we be realistic about the support animals? Well, I'm not saying every animal should be a support animal. It's not a small horse. No, like I don't think so, right? Right? No. It's not a snake. Not a snake. It's not, it's a, not a lizard. Not a chameleon. No. Right? It's not a grasshopper. It's not a crocodile. It's none of those not, things. You know what it is? <laughs> it's a dog. That's or what, a cat. Or a cat. <laughs> I think, and I think those are your support. I don't even think it's a bird. <laughs> I, I'm not even certain it's a cat, to be honest. Because oh cats, so, right, cause those cats, they're so selfish, right? They're not there to support you. They don't give a shit about you. <laughs> cats are usually like, mm, yeah, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> no, house, hey, house is on fire. They don't care. Right? They don't care. They do not. They DFC, man. They DFC. They don't fucking care. They don't fucking care about your house burning down, right? Mm-mm. Nope. Um, okay. Do you ever wonder why? So I'm on this, I'm on a lemon meringue pie kick again. Uh Uh-oh. But it needs to be revamped. What it needs is the lemon meringue pie, Samantha, it needs to get rid of the pie crust and it needs to go to a graham cracker crust. Then it's not a lemon meringue pie. Why can't it be? Because then it's just like curd on a graham cracker which sounds so good that sounds so bad why does it sound so bad (laughs) why do you think it sounds so bad it doesn't sound good explain lemon meringue sounds hoity-toity so it sounds expensive so what makes it not lavish what makes it not sound all hoity-toity what if i use zest lemon zest graham cracker crust (laughs) Uh, what do you, uh, what do you, are you like saying like, this, is graham cracker crust kind of like trailer parkish? 
Well, really? It's not like, no. It's not, it's not, it's not up there, Lisa. It's oh, not up come there. on. It's not up there. It's not come up there. No, it's not, it's not up there. But it's fine Sorry. for a cheesecake? It's not a phyllo pastry. Oh, it's not. A phyllo. Okay. Whatever you know what? that is. No, but, but it's fine for a cheesecake. For sure. But it's not fine for like a lemon meringue whatever it would be called pa. i would still you could still do the meringue because the key meringue is why do we really need like, the meringue though what do we need we don't how really, to get how do how do you get those things stiff that's the problem it's a lot of work is it is it in the wrist <laughs> it's, it's no nowadays it's in the blender it just be it just gets beaten 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 the blender i think and like it's like the egg uh, whites or the egg, no yolks no. Right? But I tell you, that lemon meringue pie, that's a tricky bitch to make. That's Have a- you tried to make it? Okay. So one time years ago, before <laughs> before I was really like the chef that I am now. Yes. Oh, my so God. So let's just say it's not my signature dessert. Okay. Okay. So before I was the chef that I am now, I tried to make a sheriff's lemon meringue pie from the box. And you had to have only like the, the egg a part of the egg i don't remember what part of the egg the part that didn't make it go scrambly if it got hot Uh uh-huh that part of the egg i'm not very that was not my skill set was not separating that part of the egg very well so as i was like stirring in my sheriff's pie like pretty much jello mix Mm -hmm. my part of the egg got through and i was getting little bits of um scrambled eggs in mine gross yeah so so i threw it away <laughs> and i never ever, i vowed to never do another lemon meringue pie well i'm sure Lisa. i could now oh sure right? yes because, you're so skilled right? now. like all the all the years of yes of of skill and stuff mm-hmm. but yes. but but i don't want to <laughs> I don't want to. Okay. Well, with all of that skill, I'm surprised that I didn't see you on the MasterChef Canada when I it came know, back on TV. I know. Right. Here's the thing, Samantha. You know what? Between me and you, bunch of rookies. That's why. All right. I'm a little more elevated than that. Hey? Yes. Oh my. So that's why you're not on it. Because you're too, you're too good for a MasterChef like I got, Canada. I got the call and I'm like, hi, I'm busy. And I'm elevated. I'm bigger than a home cook. And I'm bigger than a home cook because guess what? Who beats Bobby Flay every Friday? I do. Right? I beat Bobby Flay every Friday. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Oh, my God. My signature meatloaf. All right. I'm just saying. I, I just for sure thought, all of, you know, I'm watching MasterChef Canada You're and waiting. I'm like, where's Lisa? No. And I'm sure all of our friends at the podcast know, right? were like, But you're Lisa? absolutely right. Nothing against a good home cook, but I'm not a home cook. Right? <laughs> I am uh, I'm elevated. Uh, yes, I my that's... new my new signature dish Samantha is beef bourguignon. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh my god! Beef bourguignon. Let me, let me guess. Let me guess. Okay. You watched the Julia Child movie <laughs> where the girl cooked her way through the cookbook. Listen, I'm just saying, right? <laughs> It's pretty oh much a stew with a splash of red wine. Yes, a stew with a that that cooks endlessly for like hours. Beef bourguignon. Beef bourguignon. That's what that's my new signature dish. <laughs> okay. Right. Watch. Can't wait to see that at the bakery. Watch for that one to kick Bobby Flay's ass. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. I'm just All right. Saying. So I was on holidays, and I'm now back at work. Okay. But I was on holidays. And I was like, I need to read something. I need to get my brain outside of the the norm of the TV stuff that I've been watching. Uh And I bought a new cheesy mystery series. Wow, imagine that. I just plunked it off this the shelf at work. And I need to to talk no, I need to talk to Ron. I gotta talk to Ron. Oh. Yeah. Gotta talk to Ron Oliver. Okay. The man, the director the Hallmark Christmas guy. Yep. I need to talk to him. I think I was reading it and immediately I thought Ron needs to do this. He oh. needs to make these cheesy mystery novels, this whole series of books into movies on Hallmark so that I can watch it. <laughs> well, all you have to do is send him a Facebook message and if he can if he can do it, you know he will. He aims to I please. Know. He'll probably think I'm insane and forget who I am and that's fine. He's not. He but, won't. He he just needs to know that his his bestie Sam, yeah. me, right, 
loves this new series it's called Murder by the Book, a beyond the page bookstore mystery. And I'm like, it's a bookstore. It's a cute girl. There's a couple of love interests in there. She's got a quirky sidekick friend. She works in a bookstore. She lives in her great aunt's big old house. There's lots of great characters in the book. And I'm like, this is Ron. It's Ron. This it's is Ron. It's screaming. It's screaming Ron. Ron. Because I even have there a- the character. I have the character that... Kenny Kwan can play. I was going to say, right? Is 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 there a place for him? Yes, because there's a detect, there's a sheriff, yep. and he had, and he he's he's one of the love. That would be the selling but feature right there. There's there's a guy named Jerry uh-huh. who works in the police department. Oh, okay. So Kenny Kwan can have a place. And what so about, we'll just change the name. We'll about, just change the name. What about Ryan Peavy? Oh, Ryan's the sheriff. Oh, okay. Ryan's the chief. Well, let's- hi. I, I, Ron, I've already done all your work. Samantha, for right? <laughs> Form that message and get it to him before somebody Ryan else Pavey does. Is, Ryan Pavey is. And chief. when I say before somebody Kenny else, Kwan and be, as his trusty And second. when I say before somebody else does, you date for me to steal your thunder. <laughs> right? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh my God! It, it's like the perfect. It's like it's like right up his alley. And it's murder, and he loves murder. Yes, a whole bit. Yes. Okay. Do it. I'm just saying. Do I think it. you should do it. But, you know, what reach the hell out, do I know? Reach out. Reach out. <laughs> right? Reach out, Samantha. Okay. New segment alert. Why don't I know these things? Because <laughs> I don't share them with you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. New segment alert. It's called Things You Need in Your Life, According to Sam. Okay. What do you need in your life, Samantha? <laughs> A heated eyelash curler. Okay, first off, why do you need an <laughs> eyelash curler, and why is it got to be heated? Because Ouch. you want your eyelashes to come up and look pretty, and twinkle and do fun things. I just want my so, eyelashes to stay in. Yes, I know. Well, you do nothing. So I mean, I put this, a little mascara on them. Thank you, Lisa. This is not you. Okay. So to everyone other than Lisa, okay. <laughs> I the thing you need in your life is a heated eyelash curler. Seems like a lot of work. No, it's perfect. Mm, I don't think it's perfect. It makes them even more curly. I just saw it. I'm like, sign me up. When I don't need them hitting my glasses all day. No, they won't hit your glasses. You're just gonna just gonna elevate your eyeballs. Mm. I don't know about <laughs> that. I'm not sure. I'm just saying. Okay. It's a great idea. The jury's still out. But I bought myself a new pillow. Wow. One of That's those... a really big step for you. <laughs> and a wasted one at that. You know, it's uh, one of those new contour pillows. You know, why I, would you do that? Because that's all the rage, right? All the cool kids got them. They're all the trend. They're all popular. Get the contour pillow. Blah 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 blah. Contour pillow. So I did. I paid. I got a good one. I got a decent contour pillow. And guess what? All it does is give me a headache because it's got a ridge going across the back of it. And that hurts my head. I'm not even going to say I told you so. Right? Because I didn't know about this. So I couldn't say I told you so. But like, you, why? You have a, we have, okay, you have bad history with pillows. I have bad history. You have bad, bad past, present, and future <laughs> issues pillows. Pillows hate me and it makes me wonder what I ever did to pillows. Okay, but you don't hate, okay, so think of it this way. You don't hate the pillow on your couch. I don't hate the pillow on my couch, but I don't want that pillow on my bed. Okay, just sleep on the couch. Well, I pretty much do. And then I wake up and then I can't go back to sleep in my bed. Just stay on the couch. <sighs> Eventually, you'll fall back asleep. I know, right? <laughs> I just need to stay. And I, and and there's nothing <sighs> about the hard pillow on my hard couch. that, And nothing about that process should be enjoyable. No, but apparently it is. Super enjoyable. <laughs> Screw you, new pillow. But why would you buy a contour pillow? Like, that just seems bad. Because that's what everybody's talking about. Cause it's supposed to help your neck. It doesn't. <laughs> it just hurts your neck. Gives it you, just hurts Gives you neck. a kink in your neck. <laughs> that's what that shit does. Oh, okay, so... Does. So now that you've told us that you get sucked back, you get sucked into the Facebook um, ads that show up on, on your phone, right? Hi, who bought the China <laughs> shoes? I did, and you never go. Oh no, like, you didn't, didn't get, the get the water, water bottle. bottle. You didn't get the water. I got bottle. my shoes, and I love those shoes. I'm gonna wear those shoes forever, whether they're in style or not. I don't even care. 
This is true. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Facebook Tuesday. Yes. It was good. It was good. How do people not know who Al Bundy and Tony Soprano are? I've never seen so many people not know who who, uh, Tony Soprano was. Uh, And that guy in the middle. People not even Googling that guy in the middle. Right? I'm like, Tony Soprano? Tony Soprano. I put him in the middle because he was such a big, iconic, like, 90s or 2000s figure. The Sopranos were huge. Yeah, remember, you couldn't watch it because it gave you nightmares. I watched it and loved it. Too much shooting. I know, right? You don't like violence. No, I do. I'm okay with it, but it was too much to go to bed and then go to bed. Yeah, you couldn't do it at bedtime. It's like me and snakes, right? If I see a snake before bed, I'm done. That snake's <laughs> popping up in my sleep somewhere. Yes. Okay. So kicking Al, kicking Tony, whatever. Yeah. But nobody should be kicking the fawns. Nobody did kick the fawns. A couple of people kicked uh, Three's Company. No, someone little... did. Somebody kicked the fawns? Yes. Oh. I, I think I already blocked that out. <laughs> hmm. Who kicks the fawns? I know, right? right? And it's like, who? why are you kicking John Ritter to the curb? Like, why are you yeah, doing right? that? And I never understood that either. Right? Like, no. hi. No. Archie Bunker, I get. J.R. Ewing, I get. J.R., I get. Yeah. Homer Simpson, I get. Yeah. Right? But I nobody, nobody, that. nobody kicked Fred Flintstone. No, because everybody likes Fred. Everybody likes Fred. <laughs> I don't even think Fred got one mention. So crazy. Oh, so crazy. So, so crazy. But this is the part of our podcast where I'm going to invite you guys to invite your friends to come be part of our podcast. Bring them to us. Get them to be part of our show. Get them to listen to us. Download our episodes. Go to I Shake My Head on Podbean. We would appreciate if you were part of our Patreon or Podbean Patreon. If you'd like to support us, you can go to www.patreon.com slash I Shake My Head. Or uh, you can go to Podbean and just type in I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. We have merch. You can go to Threadless, www.ishakemyhead.threadless.com. And you can have us on a mug or a pillow. Or a mask, or a shower a water curtain. bottle, and a shower curtain, <laughs> a creepy shower curtain, creepy shower curtain, Lisa and Sam on it. Yeah, so join in the fun on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We are on there all the time, throwing up content, asking you guys to, you know, answer crazy questions or be part of the fun that we're trying to have. So just join in, bring your friends, bring your family. You can find us at pod.link slash ismh or ismh ismhead.podbean.com um, and we also are part of the Podfix network and there's lots of great podcasts on there so check it out as well. Go oh, check it out friends. Check it out. Check, check it, it out. out. Check it out. Okay. But. Oh. You notice how I slipped in. Can we have, have to, one, we have have one more week? We're going to have to prep. <laughs> I know. I needed one more week. I didn't feel it this week. I'm like I can't do it. It felt too rushed. Okay, so like we're, we're on gearing a short up. week. We're gearing up, folks. Oh, folks. It's the hot sauce showdown. You got the hot down, sauce? Down. You haven't te- oh, yeah. You haven't touched it, have you? No. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so I got lo- it's a local it's a local company. Oh. They just started. It's called Deadly Dan's. There's three hot sauces. We're going to give it a go. We're going to give it a go. We're going to do a Facebook Live next week. How great would it be if Deadly Dan, where whatever socials they're on, like mentioned us and said, hey, look what these guys are doing. I'll, 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 talk, to, Cause, I'll talk to Nicole. Because you got some inside <laughs> scoop. You, I do. You got some inside pull with Deadly Dan, right? So maybe we can like, you know, like, like I'll well, scratch your I, back, you scratch mine, Deadly Dan. And that's what I told her. I said that we would put it in our stuff as well. Because yeah. I think we have some local people who listen to us. And they're actually out in stores in Saskatoon as well. So. And I'm actually even thinking too, without giving away too much, that I'm curious to see if maybe I have some Father's Day customers that might be interested in a little deadly oh. dance closer to Father's Day. So I too am also thinking, hmm, shop Very local. Very cool. Shop local. Shop local. Shop local. Samantha, okay. the big question is going to be, am I going to drink mm-hmm. the milk? Well, I don't think milk helps. They say it does. 
They say it does. They say it does. They say it does. And I haven't okay. had milk for two years. Oh, God. Right? Like, not a glass. No. No. Not a sip. Not a sip. Not a sip. Okay. But I might have tried to train myself already. Oh, okay. I did something fun the other day. Okay. I made the tomato feta pasta that's apparently all the craze on TikTok. Are you on TikTok? No, I'm not. I just, it shows up in my Instagram feed because people okay. sh- like show their TikToks on the Instagram feed or YouTube or whatever. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. Okay. So I followed the lady who showed off the, the this TikTok sensation pasta dish. Yeah. And then she showed it because you're supposed to bake it. Okay. And you and like, you the like pasta. feta. I like, oh, I love feta because it's tomato and feta. Mm. It's awesome. But I found a version of it with red pepper flakes. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, well, how bad could it be? Oh, my God. I couldn't even handle that. It was bad? <laughs> was it really? I'm like, oh, my God. How am I ever going to taste hot sauce? That's like me using my... If I can. That's like I me using my Carolina pepper. barbecue sauce, right? It's got a tang. And I'm like, ah. Mike's like, why is your nose dripping? I'm like, because... <laughs> Right? Oh. We are such lightweights. I'm like, this is going to be ridiculous. It's not going to be pretty. Yes. But if anyone's interested in this tomato feta pasta TikTok sensation, uh, you can follow uh, at Feel Good Foodie on Instagram. That's actually where I, I found it. And uh, she's actually pretty cool. She's got a lot of fun uh, content on her page. Oh, so. Cool. Cool. And, but I didn't do, I didn't bake it. I actually, she did a skillet version. Oh, okay. So I, I took my skillet and I did it and it worked out. Oh, I feel it tasted that, really good. I feel that you're a better cook on stove top than in the stove. I'm not good with, yeah, because I ignore it. I know, right? You shove that in the oven, I'm like, done. I'm th- <laughs> you're, you put it in the oven, I, I just like, 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 hallelujah, the building didn't burn down. Right? Because I'm like doing something else. I'm probably, oh, I'm bad. probably, you know, filing down my high maintenance nail or something during yes, that time period. Yes, for sure. Right? I'm like reading, I'm watching TV, yeah. and I'm totally forgetting what's in the But if it's the on the stove, because you can kind of see it. Yes. Yeah. And it, and to be honest, I'm not going to lie, it tasted pretty good. I will totally do it again. Ah, cool. But without the pepper flakes. Potentially. Potentially without <laughs> the pepper flakes. You big baby. Yeah, I know. You big baby. Okay, here's a question for you, Samantha. Could you live with butter being your only sauce? Oh. Like, butter's really good. Yeah, no, butter's... No, I'm contemplating. No. 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 You couldn't? No. No, I can't. What, what other sauce do you have to have? Well, okay, so I'm going to promote Deadly Dan, even though we haven't tasted anything yet. I ordered the He Does a Ketchup. Okay. Nicole and her husband do a ketchup, and they do a barbecue sauce, which I'm going to give you both, so you can taste them as well. Cool. But the ketchup, I can't give up. I I will not need Heinz ketchup ever again in my life. You think that you're going to be okay with Deadly Dan's ketchup? He, it was so good. Why are you trying this already? Because I wanted to try. No, that means you're cheating. No, I'm not. I'm not touching the hot sauce. No, no, no. You're not supposed to touch any of it yet. (laughs) Oh, I I didn't open the barbecue sauce. I want to see those things sealed. Fine. Right? Like, I don't want to see a crack. (laughs) Right? You bring them and you bring your cups Oh, my God. I think think you will love the ketchup. Uh Uh-huh. And you will never want to go back to regular ketchup again. Do I get the ketchup? No, I'm not giving it I to you. I thought you just said I got the ketchup. I'll give you a sample. For the, I'm keeping the ketchup. You're going to keep the... So you just bought something just for you and you didn't buy something for me? <laughs> you know, like, do you know how friendship works? <laughs> Some days I think you don't. Some days I think you forgot how, friends, how friendship works. You just works. told me if I could live only with butter and I'm telling you, that's you, not me. No, listen... <laughs> I think I need to, to remind you how friendship works. I think you've forgotten. I think oh. I think you put your mask on and you live in the pandemic world and you forget that there's friendship in the world. Oh, my God. Calm down. Samantha, right? I love ketchup more than you love ketchup. Really? And I love sauce more than you love sauce. Mm-hmm. Fine. Keep the sauce. <laughs> you can keep your ketchup. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can keep your goddamn butter, butter, butter. I don't, yeah, I'll keep my butter. And you can keep your ketchup, right? <laughs> hey, when did we become too lazy to make, to like use a tea bag? Instead, now we just only like it steeped. Because steep is so refined. Is it? Like, I can't tell the difference. It's fancy. Says who? Who decides that it's fancy? It's pure. It's a pure way to have tea. So it's like, it is It is like, oh, organics and flowers and birds and... <laughs> like, in, like in my pod? It's in my pod? In my Tim Hortons pod of steep tea, it's all that? I don't get any of that. I've never noticed any of that. I have, there's no awe. I don't know. Hmm. I was just curious. I was just curious. That's all. No, you're so weird. I was just curious. Okay. So apparently, 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 uh, after watching the Britney Spears documentary, Justin Timberlake apologized. So I think he's a scoundrel. <laughs> oh, those are harsh words. That's a harsh word, hey? Scoundrel. <laughs> scoundrel. I think he's a scoundrel. Why do you think he's a scoundrel? Because he's only apologizing because he's looking bad. Of course he is. That makes you a scoundrel. <laughs> if you're a good person, you apologize from your heart because you know you did something that's a, yeah, that okay. deserves apologizing. Okay. So he was... How 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 long ago was that? You're going to make excuses for his bad behavior. No, I'm just, no, I'm. Sounds I'm, like an I excuse am maker. Throwing a, new, a a different train of thought. Okay. Lisa. Different train of thought. Okay. He was younger. Yep. He didn't know then what he knows now. As far as treating but a woman badly. The, yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. He didn't that's know that. True. He didn't know that I'm, then. Okay, that's true. Okay. That's true. I don't know. Like no he argument. apologized. So do we not take his apology? You take do we it not... with a grain of salt. I think he feels remorseful. Because he looks bad. Right? <laughs> right? It's like getting caught in a lie, right? Uh -huh. We're remorseful because we were caught. Yes. If we were never caught. He hasn't been remorseful well, for how many years? I think... He made think... a song about her. I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't, he apologized. That's all I know. I know he did. I know. That's all. That's all I know is that he 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 was in the documentary and then he apologized. And, then he apologized. and apparently he apologized to Janet Jackson too for the whole Super Bowl debacle. Yeah, because you know what? If which, I'm apologizing, to, if I'm being shitty to one woman, I'm and apologizing. I might as well because it be wasn't apologize. her fault. No, of course it wasn't her fault. But he got no heat for that. No, he got zero heat Just for that and did. didn't back her up. No. Right. And again, so he is being a bit of a shit. He's a bit of a scoundrel. <laughs> right. He's a bit of a scoundrel. Ugh. It's not cool. It's not cool. Um, I don't... Did you know? OK, you remember uh, Kate plus eight? Oh, yes. She just sold her house for one point five million. I think she needed the money. Really? What do you think they're up to now? <laughs> I don't think they're living in a in another house that's 1.5 million. No, I don't I think, think they, so. They scaled back. I think so, right? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder whatever happened to Kate plus eight. Well, uh, I think the kids grew up. Yeah, and hate uh, their parents. Hate their parents. Right? They got divorced. <laughs> they hate each other. Yeah, I think it's I think it's Kate hates. Kate hates all. Yeah, Kate <laughs> hates all. That's the new. That's the new. You know the new, uh, the new, the new show that's going to come out. <clears throat> Weren't they trying to do like dating with Kate? Yeah, Kate plus dates. That, that didn't go over well. No, no. You know, what? I don't know if I, I don't want to judge Kate, but, but, um, I don't know. Is she like super nice? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know her. I don't know. If you had eight kids, how nice would you be? Oh, I would not be nice. I would not be nice. <laughs> I, I have no kids and not nice. Oh, yeah. okay. But I mean, speaking of eight kids, like I think she had work done. Like, didn't she get like liposuction? You would and have to get work things done. Things cut right? off. Okay. Well, I've already decided I'm giving up on my summer body. You're giving up on it? Yeah. I, it's already, it's February and I've already decided I'm giving up. So you're going to keep your summer body for this winter? <laughs> the winter body's rolling into literally okay. this i got gotcha. you oh, okay i got gotcha. you i got gotcha. you i got gotcha. you okay and why is that samantha i just gave up just, i just i can't be bothered i'm done i'm done and and what does that look like for example right what does that mean um it means that um 
that here's hoping I fit into my summer clothes from last year. Okay. Does this mean we need to go bathing suit shopping again? Oh, good God. I'm never doing that again. Well, we did really well. Right? Yes, because we both refused to spend more than 30 bucks. Right? Never I taught you that it's okay to buy a cheap a cheap lake a cheap lake bathing suit. And we did. Yeah, you just can't go with bright colors because it made the no. it made the horse oh flies. Oh my come. god. The bugs. Yeah. It just loved me. I know, that's so crazy, hey. That was bad. Yeah. But yeah, no, it just I think you'll be fine. Uh-huh. I think you'll be fine. I think you'll be just fine. You know what? Okay, here's my here's since we're talking about, you know, our summer bodies. Um uh-huh. I have a muffin top update. Uh oh. It's not good. <laughs> More muffin than I can't get rid of it. I don't know how you get rid of a muffin top. I think you're stuck with you. Right. Ugh. Right, and I put on my sweater, and I'm like, God, uh, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Oh, do you know, do you see that commercial ever? Shakalaka, shakalaka. Shaka-laka. I love that commercial so much. Scoop, there, and I'm like, mm, we need some ice cream with some chocolate sauce. Right? Oh, my God. I know, okay, I can't, just, I don't know how to. You need see. to be calm about your muffin top. You know what? I feel better about my muffin. You know what it is? It's because in the winter, I put on sweaters, and I feel my fattest in a sweater. And then the summer, you wear the brightest shirts you can possibly find. And I don't care about my muffin top because I feel that they're not too touchy. No. But sweater material is clingy. It's always clingy. And it clings right there. <laughs> so I'm in a size 10 pant uh-huh. with a muffin top. And I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is it's Not this? looking pretty. No, not looking right? Pretty. Right? Like, you know, you, I live through a heart attack. I lose a lot of weight and uh, I still have a muffin top. Yeah. Oh. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be me. So I hear you about the summer body. You know what? Screw summer bodies. Just have your body. Okay. Just have your body and be fine. I already decided that, Lisa. Okay, good. Right? Why put in all the work and all the hassle? Mm-hmm. Okay, did you watch this week's Whitney Way Thor? Oh, you know what? Finally! Season finale. Finally. Finally. I I can't sometimes with Whitney. Oh, you know what? It's funny, right? Because this week she's been mad that people are, are harassing her ex, right? Oh. And then I think it's funny because it's all of her drama that causes this problem. Yeah. Is it not? Yeah. And then on the finale, he's on it. And she Doing just what? cries again because it's a question and answer show. <gasps> no. Yes. There. Spoiler alert. Oh, yeah. It's the last one of the season. There's more Thank crying. God. More crying. Oh, oh my God. God. Crying and walking away crying. That's As only good. Whitney Waythor can do, right? Ugh. I know. I know. I tell you. Hey, so the other day, Mike brought a Slurpee home. And he was enjoying a Slurpee. And then, you know, what in I- minus 45 weather. Yeah, he don't care. It's just Pepsi. In his mind, right? Jeez. I know. I don't get it either. But then I thought, you know what? Why does the Slurpee have to slurp? Because it's coming through a straw. Oh, okay. Enough with the slurping. It's so like nails on the chalkboard, hey? (laughs) Oh. For like however long it takes. Like hours and hours and hours, it seems. And hours. (laughs) And I just sit there quiet yes <laughs> texting the hhg if i had a pillow right now <laughs> oh I, my god if i had a steak knife right now <laughs> no I'm not saying oh i'd harm god. him i'm saying i'd harm myself maybe oh okay there you yeah. go right i'm just saying right why is a slurpee got a slurp because it comes through a straw i guess Samantha. okay i All guess right. okay so on my vacay, this is what I've decided. Wait, tell me. This I decided. I made this this generalized statement. And I'm not sure if I'm going to appreciate this <laughs> statement. I know why the daytime soaps are becoming extinct. And they are close to reality TV. They are not close to reality TV. <gasps> oh, they're close. They're not hey, close. They're so close. Which one? The only thing that's missing from reality TV is that nobody dies. <laughs> no, listen, listen. <laughs> or gets blown up and then comes back as a ghost or as as like the twin of. <laughs> which one? Which one are you? Are you talking about a specific soap? 
<laughs> All there's only three left. Samantha. Well, one of them doesn't count. That's for sure. <laughs> one of them is written brilliantly, and that is General oh, Hospital. Yes, brilliant. Right? Gen Hosp. Gen Hosp. Gen Hosp to true fans. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, brilliant. No, I don't think it's becoming extinct. I think they are. Mm. And I think it's because they're too close to reality TV and people are like, I'm just going to watch the Kardashians. No, oh, not when you can watch Sonny Corinthos, not know who oh, he is right God. now because he has amnesia. Oh, dear God, he's got amnesia again. Yes. And now he just knows that he's Mike because there was a watch that had the name Mike on it. And he doesn't know that that's his dad's name, not his. He doesn't know, right? He doesn't know that yet. Oh my god. I'm just saying. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, question for you. Okay. Do you think that there's more bullies now because of social media or were they really always there? I think that the social media platforms have given them exactly that a platform uh-huh. to showcase their abilities to be not very nice people. Okay. More so than when we were kids? For sure, cuz you only encountered bullies if you were at school. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. Okay. <laughs> With your friends or if you're at work. Right. That's true, right? Not just like I'm at home on my now, computer. Now, you can get 24-7. Right? You can subscribe 24-7 bullies. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not an app for that. There really probably could be, couldn't there? Right? There really could be, Samantha. I know. That's kind of funny. I was just curious about that. Okay. I'm just showing. Yeah. Um, but here's my most, well, my coveted part of the whole thing, the whole podcast. Lisa, it's things you want to know. Okay. This week, it's all about hot dogs. Oh, yay. (laughs) I have five fun facts. Oh, I'm so happy right now. About hot dogs. So happy. Lisa, did you know? That July is National Hot Dog Month. And that just happens to be the month I'm born in. Coincidence? I know. I no, think not. I think not. I think not. <laughs> God, I bet you if you did more research, if you dug down that rabbit hole even deeper, you'd probably find that it started in 1969. Oh, my God. It might have. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, there is 7 billion hot dogs eaten in the U.S. between Memorial Day and Labor Day, and 150 million of them are eaten on the 4th of July. Wow. And two are eaten on July 1st in Canada by me. <laughs> right? And one hot dog a week by Lisa at the cafe. <laughs> at the cafe. Because the cafe makes hot dogs. And in Los Angeles, mm-hmm. they eat the most hot dogs. Really? Yes. Huh. Per capita. They eat the most. In Los Angeles. Snooty Tootieville. Interesting. I know. Interesting. Hot dogs are an approved space food by NASA. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. (laughs) I'll take a hot dog to go to Mars, please. Right? Hot dogs were first sold at baseball games in 1893. Oh, makes my heart so happy. I know. I thought you would like that. I love hot dogs so much. And then my favorite one of all <laughs> in the movie, Sudden Impact with Dirty Harry. Nobody, and I mean nobody, puts ketchup on a hot dog. <laughs> That's my best Clint Eastwood, That's folks. not a bad Clint Eastwood. <laughs> oh, my God, Samantha. Like, ha, oh, hot dogs. Ha. Oh. It's like the perfect food with the squishy bun. With the squishy bun. And, like, the hot dog. And, like, hmm. Doesn't even matter what you put on. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what goes on a hot dog. Anything can go on the hot dog. Oh, yes. So good. Mm-hmm. I thought you would enjoy that. I so enjoy that. Thank you. I needed a little bit of hot dog love in my life. That's what I was needing. Uh, there you go. Some hot dog Lisa. loving, Samantha. <laughs> do you have an I shake my head for this week? Yeah, I do. You know what? You know what I've been shaking my head at? Because I'm trying mm-hmm. to I'm trying to use it more than just like water is, you know, the spray that you clean your glasses with? Uh-huh. I'm trying to use that on my glasses a little bit more and... uh I'm just amazed at how well it works. 
<laughs> I was shaking my head at that. Well, because it's made for that, so that because be it's why. not just it's not just Windex. <laughs> There's other stuff in it. Uh huh. Because it doesn't smell like Windex. Okay. Right. But you know what else? I'm gonna. Say? I have another. I shake my head. And I don't know how to say this without it coming across bad. It's gonna sound bad. So I already apologize in advance. Is I love the smell of epoxy. I could be a sniffer. You love the smell of glue? I shake my head at how good a strong glue smells. You, that is not good, Lisa. I know it's not good, Samantha. I know. Is that what you do in your office at work now? I can smell it, right? Because they're doing some construction. And I'm like, I smell epoxy. Somebody's epoxying something. And I love a good epoxy. Oh, my God. I know, right? So I'm shaking my head at me a little bit with it. That is so bad. I know. I could be a sniffer. So bad. Because right? I love gasoline. I love the smell of a bingo marker. Well, yes. Right? A good, uh, just a good, like a good marker, a good dabber. Mmm, yum. What about you, Samantha? Do you have a nice shake my head? Well, for the first time, I actually ordered my groceries online this past week. Oh. Yeah. And I didn't get them delivered. I went to pick them up. Uh huh. And I was like, okay. How much of this is going to be wrong? Right. And? <laughs> they got two things wrong. <laughs> wow. And how did they get it wrong? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> because I wanted the sandwich pickles. Yeah. And I got a bread and butter pickle. Which is yummy, but not a sandwich. <laughs> but it's not. But it's not. But That's it's not, not what not I wanted for a pickle. sandwich. No. And then, what was the second thing? Oh, my God. Oh, I ordered a 400 gram thing of feta cheese uh -huh. and I got a 200 gram thing. Oh, but well, here's the and thing. I... Moral of the story, Samantha. Uh huh. When you let somebody else do your shopping for you, <laughs> there's a chance things are going to go wrong. I know. But the thing is, is like out of all that I ordered, yeah. only a couple things were wrong and I didn't think that was horrible. So what made you decide to do this? I didn't want to go into the grocery store. <laughs> fear of nothing. nothing i just didn't feel like just it because i hate go. i hate grocery shopping on a good day wow. and i thought this is a great way for me to just have groceries but not actually have to do you the should shopping. be like the hhg and right now her big thing is instacarting whatever that means oh yes right? you can instacart i almost did instacart but i went with just the regular grocery store oh, okay okay mm -hmm. so you shook your head at the mistakes well yes i did and i shook my head I'm a like... little bit at you doing it <laughs> well it's like that's not the right pickle, and that's not the one I ordered. But you know so I'm what? Not sure how how I dare it. you complain when you didn't <laughs> do the job? <laughs> right? I, I, and that's, I didn't say a thing. Good. I didn't say a thing. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to know better for next time. Yeah, you know better, right? <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Uh, that's funny. Uh -huh. Good going. Okay. Well, we'd like to thank John again for helping us out. Again, he is always uh, the bigger man. <laughs> For us, because he puts up with us. Because you put up with us. Don't look at me like that. He's looking I'm looking at, me weird. at you like that. I'm looking at you like that. He's the bigger man because he puts up with and us. We're just, and, our and we're just rubbing that fact in. Hey, eh? what's John? John's the bigger man. He's the shenanigans because he, he puts up with our shenanigans. Oh, beep 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 beep. beep. I, that's not just, what I meant. Here's the shovel. Stop it. Oh, you are a metal case. Potentially, yes. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> remember to remember to check out our social media, guys: Facebook, Instagram, and the Twitter. Samantha, anything else to add this week? No, I think that's good. Well, I do believe this has brought us to the end of the show. <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right, Samantha. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Uh, it should be. This has been a transmission of the Podfix Network. For more about this show and other great Podfix programs, go to podfixnetwork.com. Thank fucking God. <laughs>